Hey, what's up everybody, it's Geet. In my best productivity apps video, I mentioned that Trello, now sporting over 5 million users, is one of the best to-do list apps out there. But importantly, Trello is not just about completing tasks. It's really useful for organization in general. Trello offers a fluid and flexible interface based on a very simple idea. You can create cards and lists. Cards can be moved within a list as well as across lists, and lists are housed in boards. There are many other features, such as being able to store details within cards, add labels to cards, and assign people to cards. But the main idea is that you have cards, lists, and boards. One problem with having such flexibility is that it may not be obvious when and how you should use these different features. Because of this, I decided to make this video to share with you guys a few tips for using Trello in combination with Sunrise Calendar when organizing your tasks and projects. First, in addition to using boards for managing projects, you can create a handful of boards for different contexts in your life. For example, you can have one board for professional projects and tasks, another board for family and friends, and another for writing projects. Each of these boards has a different color associated with each context. Lists within each board should be customized to best suit the context, but in general they should contain these lists ordered from left to right. Inbox, to-do lists, done, and optionally canned or trashed items. Inbox is where all the ideas and thoughts related to the context are dumped for future processing. For example, in a professional context, you may have received an email from someone that you know you want to handle in some way later. You can forward it to your Trello email address for this context and Trello will automatically place the text of this email in your inbox and you can decide how and when you want to handle it. Second, some cards in these broad contexts may be bona fide longer term projects, perhaps with multiple people involved. In this case, you can link from this card to a board colored the same as your context. I'll get into why this matters later. For boards associated with larger projects, it's nice to use Trello as more of a freeform board depending on what's most useful for the project. It's really handy to drag and drop as well as paste images, lists, and other attachments directly into a card for organizing notes and structuring your work. For these, I personally always have a brainstorm list analogous to the inbox list which serves as a place where I can put any idea or content that I know I want included in this project for organization later. Finally, and most importantly, for some, not all of the cards in your boards, you will want to schedule due dates and milestones for their completion. The key here is to set them approximately. In my best productivity apps video, I also mentioned Sunrise Calendar is one of the best calendar apps. The beauty of Sunrise Calendar's integration with Trello is that you can include one or more boards. And here's why coloring by context, as I mentioned earlier, is important. Events with due dates will show up on your calendar colored by context. Now you can see all of your tasks with due dates across all of your contexts. From here, you can rearrange events simply by dragging and dropping events to make sure milestones don't conflict and to give yourself some necessary breathing room. And when you go back to Trello, the due dates are adjusted according to your movements in Sunrise Calendar. I think this is a great way to manage your day and week as well as see larger milestones in the context of time. The events in Sunrise seamlessly link directly back to the associated card and board on Trello which makes it easy to go between both. It should be noted that Trello also offers a calendar power-up feature for a particular board, but the advantage of using Sunrise is being able to see more than one board simultaneously. So that's it guys. This style of organizing tasks and using lists in the context of time has been very useful to me, and I hope you found this video useful as well. If you liked it, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm working hard to bring you guys higher and higher quality content. Thanks a lot for watching and to all of those who have subscribed so far, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.